You are now listening to Feeding Off Each Other. Welcome back to Feeding Off Each Other, a weekly podcast where we feed off the talent, humor, knowledge, and awesome stories of our guests and each other. I'm Matt Dennison, joined as always by David. Help me out. Didn't have anything planned. Uh, went to Kelowna, Wiggins. Kelowna, Fornia, Wiggins. Mm-hmm. How was the boys' trip? It was good. Nice. Yeah. We'll have to hear about that on uh, another pod, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no time to waste on this one, though. No. No. And to his left, finally figured it out. Jason stayed home all. With- no, you went. You had a little bit of a boys and girls mixed trip. Uh, yeah, I did. It was all genders. Um, in Whistler. In Whistler. <laughs> how, how many? Uh, uh, genders. Yeah. All of them. Oh. Uh, Can you name that's a, what? That's so many. Identify them. We oh, don't need dude. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whistler, man. It's Whistler. Yeah. Nice. Well, you guys are having fun. I stayed home, cleaned, did all sorts of boring stuff. You went to Squamish, though. That's true. I did go to Squamish. You know why? Do you guys know why I went to Squamish? I wonder why. <laughs> to see our guest today perform live. <gasps> Shall I intro t- the guest? Yes, yes. please. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've ri- ri- uh, wow. read one of these. Okay. Okay, oh, we have shit. a written, we go again. written intro. You ready for this one? Let's go. All right. Our guest today is a Toronto-based stand-up comedian. That's me. You might recognize him for his numerous appearances on Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world, where he's become one of the show's beloved, 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 beloved? golden okay. ticket winners. And if I'm not mistaken, you're the you have the most appearances out of any golden ticket winner. Yeah, twenty six times. Yeah, but who's counting? Our guest has I am. <laughs> <laughs> our guest has recently concluded a BC Road tour, gracing the stages in downtown Vancouver. Scam Loops, Kelowna, Fornia, Squampton, and Stabbotsford. Today's guest transcends his cognitive disabilities to redefine what it means to be differently abled. I took that from his website. He's funny, funny as shit. He's handsome as shit. And it's an honor to have him in the studio. Please give a warm, warm welcome to the extra chromosexual Hyper J. Jared, bad to the bo bone Nathan. How's it going, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Feeding off each other podcast. We are feeding. <laughs> we I are hope feeding. You're hungry. Each other? E- yeah, yeah, each yeah. other. And, and you. All I'm, of us. Okay, let's do it. Fully inclusive. I'm down. Feeding <laughs> off each other. Are you other. feeling metaphorically hungry today? You gotta be hungry. I don't know. Let's go. Well, let's get right into it. So uh, let's just start with what happened there. Um, you got lost. You took an Uber here and you ended up about five kilometers down the road. I had to rescue you. Yes. I was circling for about 10 minutes. I thought I may have killed Jared Nathan. What? And I found you standing at a bus stop. You did. Stand me at a bus stop because the Uber driver told me I'm here. And I was like, okay. I got out and then I was con- trying to contact you. As soon as I tried to contact you. My phone died. Classic. Oh, God. Worst case scenario. <laughs> and yeah, so <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> so Just walk in the streets. After I swore, I'm like, okay, shit happens. And then I was going to head back downtown and contact you guys. You were just going to head back downtown? Well, oh, yeah, I guess you had no freaking idea. Well, <laughs> fortunately- I was going to go knock on some doors and say, hey, <laughs> that's what I. That would have gone over well. That's and what I was worried about. Hug in my phone. I thought about it. I'm like, <laughs> oh, r- r- rich people. They're going to call the cops. I mean, he yeah, ended up in, in Deep Cove, so he would have been like knocking on like some okay. millionaire's door. Yeah, you can't knock on doors anymore. But right? he could have went to like the <laughs> or like mm-hmm. a sushi place. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I know where you were. Could have walked that way because it was not that far. You got a charging brick on you. Yes, and the charging brick lost battery too. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that's how brick. I roll. You need two charging bricks. That's okay. Yeah. I'm glad I found you. All is well. All is well. So, how has your time been in BC? It's been fun. Yeah. BC is good. Expensive. Mm, yes. It's expensive. Famously so. Mm-hmm. Like f- f- four dollars for a cup of coffee somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That seems pretty normal. I'm gonna put this mic right in the front of you. Yeah, unfortunately. That's it? You like, I was at this specialty place where I was staying on, like, Thursday. I don't know. Or, or four dollars or a cup of tea. Oof. Was it expensive? That's a bit steep. That's, for tea? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> 
four dollars for a tea bag, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> cheap on grinder. Yeah, what, what type of tea bag we're talking here? <laughs> Chamomile or uh, Christopher? Human kind, no. Um, that's called that's called Ram Ramamil. Ramamil. Ram yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you was good. Except it's raining. Yep. Today, this happens often. Mm-hmm. But I saw you guys caught snow a couple weeks ago. We had some snow. Yeah, we yeah. Did. You don't know how to handle it? No. No, we don't. <laughs> I kept seeing cars like careening, yeah, hitting each other. Fucking nightmare. Hitting and as somebody from Toronto, that's very funny to myself. <laughs> Because, like, Toronto and Vancouver kind of switched weather. Mm-hmm. This, this winter, thanks to global warming. Shout yeah. out shout out to global warming, one of our sponsors. Weather <laughs> modification. Climate I don't change. Know which one was. Weather modification. Climate I like that change one. or weather modification. It's all the same. I see camp trail. I see. Yeah, it's mostly that. I see camp. T- okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, our weather changed, but I like Vancouver, I guess. Now, your show was on Hastings Street. That's a, the it's gnarliest kind of street you could have had a show. It's very sketchy. Why is it sketchy, man? For the people. Well, well, I don't know. Maybe Jerry can tell us. Zombies. Zombies. <laughs> uh, no, but because injecticides or is like cocaine and heroin like legal here or something? It's, or? it's decriminalized, so you can't be arrested for doing it, so but you can be arrested for selling it. Are you able to go into a shop and no. buy that shit? No. Someone tried. Someone yeah, did someone try did that. try, and they, and they were... got shut down. I <laughs> saw something. The people were selling like a b- b- box of this. cocaine, heroin. Yes. Is that real? Uh, or is that I don't just know. made up by. I don't somebody? know. I saw this months ago. Okay. Maybe even a year ago. I just saw it like recently. Yeah, so I, I don't know if it's real or not. Yeah, it just it's recirculated. So it's three boxes. One's meth. It says uh, no cut, no buff, three and a half grams. The next one's cocaine, no cut, no buff, three and a half grams. And heroin, same thing. Caffeine, 60%. Ooh. Well, our second sponsor today is heroin. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Great segue. Yeah. Now, Jared, what is your diagnosis for the people wondering out there? Uh, I'm globally delayed. I have a learning disability, ADD, ADHD. Um, I have a stutter. Yeah. Or somebody called me, I'm retarded. Nah. I don't know, man. I don't know you waiting for that. But no, no, no. I'm not at all. I'm just like, I was like, to delay, like, intellectual disability. You want to call it that? Yeah. I was, like te- I I was teeing you up for your punchline that you use on your show. You say, if "Oh, you know. my!" I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it again. So, what is your uh, diagnosis? I'm one fucked up dude. <laughs> so, are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the crowd goes. So I'm a little early. Don't <laughs> wait, don't it's okay, get the Red Bull in you. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> it's early. It's mid afternoon. I, I respect you. You want a sponsor? Go- Red Bull. Oh, thank, you. Okay. thank you. We just made twelve billion dollars. <laughs> I respect you for going for the Red Bull. Dave, on the other hand, he uh, loses my respect week after week when he declines the Red Bull. I don't ride the ball. Are you for C four? Remember how C four? C four, like the explosive. It's an energy drink. Okay, really? I've never seen that before. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he was going for a spit take there. He took a big gulp. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Oh, there uh, it is. That's C4. Yeah. I've definitely never seen that. The blue one's good. The blue one tastes like a blue popsicle. Ooh. Do you actually feel the effects of an energy drink? Because when I drink Red Bull and stuff, I don't know. I don't feel like jitters. I don't feel amped up. I just feel a little bit, a little extra kick. I just, I just feel like the flavor is so intense, it kind of wakes me up in that way. But it's not like the caffeine is really, I'm not like noticing. Like, a Are you a coffee thing. person? I'm, uh, I like coffee. I okay. try to have more chai teas these days, though. Four dollars every time. 
C four dollars. C four dollars. Chai masala, I've had chai masala. Chai masala, yeah. They have what's some like Indian restaurants, like Indian tea. That's the real That's pretty good. good shit. That's yeah. good shit. Yeah. That's culture, man. We get our chai tea from like Bulk Barn out of, you know, like a garage pail. So okay. it's, it's not legit. Oh, Bulk Barn legit. is good. Yeah. It's still expensive, though. It's as expensive as the real stuff. Yeah. What? Chai tea or the chai Bulk tea? Bulk Barn? The loose chai tea at yes. Bulk Barn. Yeah. There's some Indian natives out there that are just cringing at saying chai tea. Chai. Oh, right. Because it's like saying tea tea. tea. Yeah, yeah. Tea teas. How are you supposed to say it? It's just chai because chai means tea okay. in, in well, their I, language, right? So, I, I, I went to the uh, okay. Tim Hortons and yeah. there's a couple Indian fellows who mm-hmm. asked my order was. And I said, I'll have a chai latte. And he said, oh, uh, is that a chai tea latte? I said, yeah, chai latte. So I, uh, he actually did the Ooh. thing that's... You well, know, the white person roasted. thing. Perpetuating st- stereotypes there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's second generation. Maybe, yeah. He lost I his roots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he had no roots, I don't know. <laughs> so back back to the tour. Where was the uh, best show? Where was the rowdiest crowd? Cam Loops. Cam Loops. Shout out Cam Loops. At the Effie. Shout out to Effie. Shout out Cam Loops. Now what Look is it about fun town? what is it about cam loops that gets people so rowdy? I saw the clip on your Instagram. There's a lot of red 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 fun people. I don't know, man. I like yeah. They were getting drunk. Maybe it was just the right like, night. Was it Friday? Kelowna was also like a lot of red like rednecky too. I guess, but it's more working class there. What's the uh, yeah? I like the more work class people. It's kind of like my crowd. Mm-hmm. And they know how to laugh. I find like it's a corporate people who get uptight. Because even though they like how oh, we're close to like HR, they think HR always like is on them. So, like, they don't know how to laugh sometimes. Fortunately, we have no HR department here. Afraid to laugh? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, but, yeah, and just, like, or, like, sometimes if a few people up uptight, the whole audience is uptight. Yeah. And mm-hmm. the same thing, if a few people are Lose and sometimes the whole audience. Everyone's giving each other permission to laugh or not laugh. That's exactly yes. Yeah. Ooh, which kind of sucks. Yeah. The I think that's kind of what society is, because people don't know how to act on their own. Everybody, sh- yeah, go get a vaccine. So they all go get a vaccine. You know. Ooh, Something vaccine like time. Did you take the jab? <laughs> Are you all jabbed up, Jared? I took a jab. We took three jabs. Three jabs. Three jabs. Yeah, That's three a lot of jabs. jabs. And I'm punched to a face, too. <laughs> <laughs> three jabs and a nice sucker punch. A nice oh, hard yeah. punch. Uh, Jared, I, I'm a big fan of yours, and I could spoil every joke in your act, but... Uh, I know what you're thinking of. I know, I, right, right? I know exactly what you're thinking yeah. of. And... <laughs> yeah, it's like that joke... If I can talk about that joke, that joke is like, I always heard during COVID, everybody was talking about, I'm going to be fucked up, getting a vaccine, and I'm going to like, have a disability, if I get a vaccine, and my joke was kind of making fun of like that. Anti factors, so to speak. Yeah. Like, touch on it. Like, other people have a disab. Other people with disabilities have joke that other disability cause it. Like, that was not where I was going at, you know? Mm-hmm. Did, did anybody, either of you, uh, experience like side effects after getting jabbed? Did you like have a little like heart like pain or something and it made you freak out and overthink? No, I, I just had like basically the next day I was a bit 
wonky and then I was totally fine. Wonky? How, how are you wonky? <laughs> like I got fe- feverish one, one, I think the night of one of them. Is that when you were bleeding out the asshole or is that a different? Uh, well, that, that was hey. after, that was after one of my, uh, events, <laughs> my special events. <laughs> special events. <laughs> yeah. You get pegged? <laughs> you, you got me pegged. Yeah. <laughs> Diarrhea? How the, the big was the strap on, man? How big? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as big as they make them. <laughs> uh, We're talking Drake or yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the Drake special. Jared, Drake. have you seen the, the Drake video? I saw who posted it. Somebody posted it. Um, some famous person posted it. Dra- Drake? <laughs> no, Drake's I saw mother? that. Or, no, I didn't really see it. Man, who was but it that posted that though? Threw him under the bus. I heard it's huge. <laughs> oh yeah, it's massive. It's, it's like a pool noodle. Hot it has no dick. like no structure to it. Just kind of flops over. Okay, cool. It needs scaffolding. I heard a I heard a really good joke about it where people are saying Drake should uh, stop saying he's from the six and say more he's from the eight or nine. <laughs> uh, maybe the eleven or twelve. Uh. <laughs> I'll get myself. I'll get myself that. <laughs> Howdy do to each other, nation. You love the show, you love the pod, you love the boys. Well, why don't you support us by purchasing some of our merch on MahaloMyDude.com. That's right, Matthew. We've got the finest selection of t-shirts, stickers, and hats you've ever seen. Plus, we even have Feeding Off Each Other sticker packs so that you can proudly show off your love for the show on a mug, laptop, your dog, your mom, whatever. And as a special gift to you, our beloved Chuthers, we're offering 10% off your next order with the code FEEDING. That's right, head to mahalomydude.com and use code FEEDING for 10% off your next order. And now, back, back to, to the, the pod. pod. Okay, let's be confrontational here. Now, Dave, mm-hmm. you were in Kelowna while Jared was in Kelowna. Why yeah. didn't you go see his show? It was Saturday night? It was Saturday night. I had plans. What were your plans? Uh, Liar! I was bowling. <laughs> bowling? Come on! Wrong. It's Kelowna's you hottest. You hit my bomb or the lovely game? Like the with game. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the game. Ten, <laughs> ten pin. Ten pins like the. Yeah, yeah, full scale bowling okay, okay, with okay. the big yeah. ball, you know? Nice. Uh, yeah, we it was uh, BNA Bowling, which is the hottest spot in Kelowna, and it turns into a nightclub after. And it was the it was the big plan of the weekend, so I couldn't divert the whole group. That was the we big had, plan. We had already we had already prepaid for our lane and and everything. So otherwise, I would have rallied the troops. Friday would have been good for us, actually. It's okay. There'll be another That's show. Okay, yeah, the, the yeah, more shows for sure. Hopefully, we can get down to uh, Austin and we can go see it. Yeah, Jared that'd be on. sweet. Uh, Austin uh, before? You've been to Austin. No, I have not. No. J- Jason okay. has. I've been to Austin. Yeah. yeah. How recently? Uh, last fall, like six, five months ago. How was it? It was amazing. Yeah. It's such a good city. How long are you there for? I was there for like four days. Okay. Yeah. It's great. Do you check out comedy? Yeah. Uh, I ch- no. Honestly, we were there for a music festival, so we went to the music festival. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Austin City Limits. Uh, I heard it wasn't it was okay. I thought it was great. Okay. Yeah. Who do you see? Oof. I gotta go back in the memory bank. Then it wasn't that good. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say you can't say it. remember. <laughs> Damn, you just can't name the band off the top either. It was shit. We <laughs> did so many fucking drugs. Yeah, how many drugs how did you do? How many drugs did you do? Roast. He's got both you pegged. I did three drugs. <laughs> <laughs> all heroin. Yeah. yeah, no. It's all that heroin thing going around right now. No, it was fucking sweet. And then we d- did like a night out on um, 6th, obviously. That's a great f- five days in one night. Yeah, uh, yeah. it was like three. I'm trying to make a joke. Oh, fuck. <laughs> They're always talking about Whoosh. 6th Street uh, and... To me, it just sounds like our, our version of like Granville Street. No, like, no, no, no. It was, it was pretty different. No, very different. And they shut the street down. Oh. Well, yeah. The thing well, is that they shut the street down like Thursday to Sunday, and night, and it's pretty much a huge drunk fest. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's all the. Clubs kind of like in Vancouver, you go inside the club, right? And you're yeah. gone. Where there, you're all in the pit. It's like all open. Yeah. So you're all oh. just kind of on a street party together. And if people trying to bring you in, it's like, 
hustlers meet club oh, telling you like mm-hmm. two dollars off this Ooh, ladies get free drinks like it's wild it's like vegas or something it's or, always, they're always trying to get you into a strip club in vegas though yeah mm-hmm no, well, no strip clubs. No, or, or uh, regular clubs sometimes uh, too. Like the what is it? The Tower or something? I don't know. Jared, what's the best club on uh, or place on Sixth? Comedy Mothership. Oh. Um, no, uh, yeah, talk about comedy company Mothership. Yep. Uh, all kinds of great too. Uh, Sunset Strip is a good club. Uh, I'm talking like I don't really go to clubs that much. And the Coyote Uglies. Ooh, okay. You know that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it's good. whatever it is. But no, um, yeah. And they have the good, like, food places on 6th Street. Fuck, the food's unreal there. The El Camino? El Camino. I've been there. El, no, El I know. Casino, no, no. El Camino? No, I know. I don't think so. That's an interesting place. Cause El Camino. It's pretty much a, a dive bar. Like a, it's like a punk vibe to it. Like a punk, like, gothic vibe to it. And it's served by the sketchiest people. Like the sketchy people in the kitchen, but it's one of the greatest hamburgers you'll ever eat. Really? Yes. Oh, shit. Because, like, I like my food come from, like, my pets, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They make yeah. the best food. They're just so quick, right? <laughs> so quick. We might find ourselves in Austin again. Oh, hopefully, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We have opportunities. Yeah, oh, there's a because we we mountain bike, right? We make right. mountain bike films, and uh, there's a bike park just outside of that area called Spider Mountain. Okay. And we mm-hmm. might try to like mix some. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great exercise. How many degree uh, hikes, trails? Mm-hmm. The Texans are always complaining about the cold, and it doesn't seem like the it's cold. Early. Yeah, like there's a certain time of year where yeah. everybody's complaining about. It. They got jackets on. They're January, like freezing outside. Yeah, but it wasn't even that. Yeah, it was not even that cold. Well, except for when it did get really cold. Yeah, in there Texas. was that time. Right? <laughs> last year? Oh yeah, 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 last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, was there in ago. like January, February oh, last year, and. They had like a ice, we call it like an ice storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything shut down. So I'm out there like. <laughs> You're in a there t-shirt. In a, yeah, I'm a t-shirt. Out there, in a team chair no, t-shirt. It was actually cold that time. So uh, I had been in like a t-shirt and shorts and then other people in the parkers. Mm-hmm. Which, and they always make fun of me. It's always fun. When you get cold, do you uh, shiver? I can. Mm. We all shiver sometimes. Like, yeah. So, like, I live in minus 50 temperatures. What? In Winnipeg. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Winnipeg is, uh, they have this, like, intersection that's the coldest place on yeah. earth when the wind hits right. Portage in Maine. Mm. Portage in Maine. And interesting thing about Portage. And the lane is, you can't cross it from the outside. You have to go underground. You have to walk through the path system. You can't, like, there's no, like, crosswalk there because it's a very congested, like, busy, busy street. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a, yeah. Jesus. So you have to walk underground? Yeah, I don't want to go to Winnipeg. <laughs> Is there? What's the best part about Winnipeg? <laughs> Why should someone go to Winnipeg? My, my father's from Winnipeg. I've been to Winnipeg once. Winnipeg, a lot of Filipinos there. Yes. Okay. I like Winnipeg. Okay. It has charm. Like, Winnipeg is pretty much a small town because everything shuts down. Downtown shuts down after 5 o'clock. Mm. But the people... People are, are like, it's so colder that the people have to be like warm, mm-hmm. and they're usually a lot of alcoholics. Because where else are you gonna? Yeah, what else are you gonna do? Well, no, it, it's 
Does it big has like culture? Because they're Filipino and then natives and like they have like and uh, and like Ukrainians like the pierogi is a huge there. The pierogi pizza and stuff like that. Pierogi pizza. Pierogi oh pizza my. and pierogi poutine is good. Oh my god! Pierogi so that. like yeah. Winnipeg has like more culture than Toronto. Really? Toronto has like other people's cultures. Toronto doesn't have something that's Toronto. Yeah, I really. feel like that's Canada in other general. Like a hit meal with sandwich was kind of like Toronto used to be called like Hogtown. Back in the day. But now Toronto is pretty much taking food from other countries. And so Winnipeg is where you started stand-up comedy, yes. is that correct? Yes. So what was what was that decision to get into uh, comedy? What, what was that first time on stage like? It was... I just took a leap and I just wrote some jokes. Because uh, you probably heard the story other places. Uh, I started doing comedy... Days off taking magic mushrooms. Mm. I haven't heard the story. Okay, because I watched J- Joe Rogan. And Joe Rogan had Paul Stamets on. You know Paul yeah. Stamets is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The mushroom man. The mushroom so. man. And he told a story about killing his daughter by taking oh, yeah. a huge dose of magic mushrooms. Right. However, in his story, too. He also climbed up a tall tree and got hit by lightning. <laughs> oh, wow. So I don't know if the mushrooms could have stuttered or, <laughs> or, or the, the lightning, lightning could have stuttered. Mm. Well, so I have no idea. Or was he on mushrooms when he climbed the tree and got struck and it was a collaboration of the two? That might have been, yeah. Maybe you could take... Joint... S- joint... <laughs> uh, <laughs> offering. Whatever yeah, you joint call venture. It. Joint venture, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever tried uh, taking mushrooms and putting your finger in an electrical socket? Nope. No? So did you take magic mushrooms as, like, an attempt to... The next day, I, yeah, I thought about carrying my starter. Yeah. And then that didn't happen, so I thought about... What can I do with my starter? I happen to have a, a fire for over my comedy, and then... Our next day, I went, and I, well, that night, I wrote some jokes, which weren't, yes, some were jokes, some were just like, um, gave me a toast to the people who told me I would never read or write, stuff like that. It was like an interesting thing. Is there any jokes that you did that night that you still do? Or is it all in the trash now? All in the trash? I, uh, what was the first? Well, one of the first jokes I ever wrote was like a knock-knock jokes. <laughs> uh... Knock knock. Who's there? Ed. Ed who? Who the fuck is Ed and why is he so special? <laughs> knock Reality. knock. Who's there? Special. Uh, special who? Who the fuck is special? Why do I have so many needs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. like one of the first things. <laughs> Which also, yeah, and like I can't, I did a joke and. There was this individual who kept coming to comedy clubs, and that was his. He had special needs, and that two jokes was his favorite joke that he always wanted me to do. But I also had a joke um, how many stutterers does it take to keep a public speech? It takes one of five people in the audience look at the watch saying, Is it over yet? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I like it. 
Um, so you're, you've climbed the ladder of fame and fortune and internet royalty through Kill Tony. Fame, yeah. <laughs> oh, not the other things yet? Well, it's a little bit. Fortune. Um, yeah, I mean, how much has Kill Tony changed your life? A lot. Yeah. I mean, it brought me so many fans and lovely people who... Who love me and watch me on the computer and then reach out to me and gave me a lot of praises. Uh, I had some great opportunity. They opened for Tony Hinchcliffe, opened up like Louis J. Gomez and stuff like that. Yeah, that's amazing. And they gave me some good opportunities. And I'm, um, I'm actually getting some other opportunities. Uh, yeah, some other projects I'm doing came off the Kill Tony thing. So it gained you a lot of people who love you. Yeah. Uh, also, I noticed that it gained you some haters, too. And there's people who think that your stutter is fake and you're you're putting it on. You must see those comments, right? Or does Joe Rogan tell you, don't, don't read the comments? I also see the comments. I got people said it to my face for a long time. People said it to your face. I what the fuck? It, whatever. But a stutter is not an orgasm. <laughs> well, I, I don't I can't make a choice to stutter and not stutter. Yeah. It comes and it goes it comes and it goes. It's right. just like a current. Mm -hmm. Does does it come more when you are nervous? It can it, 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 yeah. But it also comes when I'm thinking about something. Okay. And when I'm not really sure what I have to say. Or sometimes it just comes when I don't want it to come. I'm not thinking it's going to come. Right. Mm -hmm. And like things I say all the time. <laughs> and then I try it and it just doesn't come out. And interesting because when you whisper, it goes away. Yes, it does. Should, maybe we could just How do the whole happen? podcast ASMR. Yes, but it's fucking annoying. <laughs> um. And also, <laughs> when I speak like this, it does not. I do not stutter. Oh, when you? The people at Starbucks think that I am mocking them. <laughs> like oh. no, I'm just trying to help you understand so I get my order right, correctly. Yeah. And you said that people think that you're drunk when you're talking to them too. Yeah, and they'll try to kick you out of uh, yes. restaurants or whatnot. Yes, I have. That happened. Jeez, that happened. Awesome, so to speak. But yeah, I've been I've been cut off at b b b bars even before I order. Before drink. you even order? Yeah, before I even order, they cut me off. Or what? they just look at me and oh, and like I'll come to myself so I get a hint sometimes. But no, yeah, having a stutter is like. It's second nature to me too. We were, we were Brooke and I. Uh, Brooke and I live together. We're, we're she's my fiance. She reminded me that she did speech therapy when she was young. She had a. a it, she says that every time she would speak after her, her words, she'd go heh, and she would <laughs> heh, talk like heh, heh, like this heh. Really? And she Are you take native? speech therapy. What's that? Are you native? Native. Native people do that sometimes. Really? Maybe How come you said hey? What? I don't know. Just a speech impediment. So yeah. Hey. Well, does anybody ask you why do you stutter? What do you say? <laughs> um. I was born this way, baby. Yeah. I just <laughs> that's a weird cookie crumble. Now I have a question. Do you feel normal? What the. F <laughs> Going up, yes, like, the, uh, what's n normal? Especially yeah. in 2024, when everybody's neurologically diverse, everybody's like, wants to be special, or telling me how they have anxiety, all that stuff. Which I have, everybody has anxiety, and. I create my own normal, but yeah, I, I have a, I'm an, I have a disability, 
And my brain is not a virgin, I think, goes hand in hand. I think the disability and not a vernancy is like the same thing. And autism and not a virgin is the same thing. You're autistic, but your brain is not a virgin. But am I normal? I'm human, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, am I... It's the thing, I never, like, I'm dying over something. You can't, be. here's the thing about, like, normal is, you gotta, like, there's certain, like, f- 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 society. Like, there's certain, like, things that everybody do in a society. You know, when I'm trying, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's sort of like, um, yeah, constructs, society, and I think normal is a construct. Like normal is a spectrum. I remember in, in ninth grade, the teacher had us write an essay on what is normal, and it broke my brain, and I started to think all sorts of things. Like, I'm not normal, I'm a freak. Yeah, but, like, and yeah, but that's normal to you to think yeah, yeah. even to think that yeah, to think yeah, that like, to like normal it's like society putting you in a box right and I think the normal thing is being fucked up <laughs> and like not thinking you fucked up and thinking you're normal was like the most fucked up thing somebody could think yeah we think nothing is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. I feel like we all in here think we're all kind of normal. And the more time we spend with each other, I learn of ways that you're not normal and why you're all yeah, freaky and weird in your own even ways. Even saying <laughs> that we're normal is not normal. Yeah, right? exactly. Like even oh. putting something on something that says that's the way you act is something. It's 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 like... It's not, you know? It's restrictive. Right. It's restrictive and it's like a cult mentality and like society has been doing it for a long time, you know? And I think just like having, having, st- like having that like normal, not normal, how do I look, stuff like that. It's, I don't think it's that good. For the human psyche, stuff like that. Um, also, like everybody's, everybody's like scared of just being themselves, you know. Yeah, it's a hard thing to yeah. push past, and like especially on the internet, just uh, be yourself completely, unfiltered. <laughs> but Kill Tony, they celebrate people for being themselves. Yeah, and, uh, that's you know, the all normal, the abnormal. Like, yeah, there's so many people on that show. Aaron Belial. Yes. Uh, who else? Um, Martin. You know Martin. Martin. Martin Fell. Martin. I forgot his last name. Ricky he's Martin. Pretty funny. Living a vida loca. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's he's funny. Um, obviously, the great late Michael Lair. Right. Of course. Or the, Hey, great Michael Lair. Yeah. However you want to put that in order. But yeah. And, uh, William Montgomery. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of interesting characters on the Tony show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, and there, there, there's a crowd, I think, that people shit on the show for, uh, you know, letting disabled, uh, they or, like, they differently can't abled. Get off their ass and do something. <laughs> yeah, right. The armchair, uh, what do they yeah, call them, critics? The or thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, uh, well, I, 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 I don't put in a label on something, you know? Yeah. Because, mm. like, if I do something that a so-called normal person can't, does that make me normal and you special at that moment? You know, like, can you ice skate? Uh, Jason, ice skate. Terrible question for me. <laughs> I have a fear of ice skating. You, 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 you ice skate? 
so I'm scared shitless. Am I normal? Because I ice skate? Are you? Jason would say no. Retarded because you can't ice skate? Yes. So I, I'm like, You've literally asked the worst ice skater. Uh, I know. Yeah. He's, uh, I'm just trying to find like a simple thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, if I could like. If somebody asking me a question and I can process it faster than you sitting next to me, mm-hmm. right? Who's special here? Yeah, totally. And society mm. just, you know. I almost see sometimes normal as like a negative thing. Like to be like, if you're normal, it's like, well, what's What's good about you? What's great about you? Like, what good. sets you apart? Or I call, if I see a movie or show that's a bit boring, I call it normie. <laughs> it's a <laughs> yeah, bit too yeah. normie. You don't want to be a normie. Yeah. Absolutely don't want to be a normie this day and age. <sighs> <laughs> what's, like, what? I don't know. Like, whoa, like, yeah. I mean, I think you want to be unique, right? I like, think it also is. If you grew up in a certain culture, right? And the Japanese culture, they eat rice for breakfast, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To us, that's abnormal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To them, it's normal. Yeah. So I think we create our normal. Correct. Normally, everything is subjective. It's a sliding scale. Everything is subjective. Everything is based on your experience and your upbringing and your, your surroundings. Yeah. Your country, your, your country, so religion, like, all that. Yeah, so like, I don't, it's, it's a mother thing that's societal, I guess that's the word. It's kind of just, society kind of told us to act one way and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like, every control things. I feel like that's the basis of a lot of comedy is someone identifying something that they feel weird about and then they make a joke about it and most people relate to it, but it's not something that people talk about in day-to-day life. The the, the thing is, most people don't think it's something weird until someone tells them it's weird. That's weird. Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah. If you if you spend enough time around a toddler, you see them do a lot of things that like they're not supposed to do in society, like whatever, like itch their bum and smell it. <laughs> That's weird. I do you that. Guys yeah, you guys <laughs> do that? Could, no, I've done like, that three times this podcast. Already. But the parents are saying, "Oh no, you can't do that. You can't do that in public. It's weird, right?" <laughs> well, I had bad parents then. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, but I see like hum- I don't know. I think just I think kids are like. Here is form a human. Absolutely. And after that age, they lose that pureness. It's like, you know how we're not supposed to wear shoes? Like it's too constrictive on our toes and our yeah, toes all curl in. Shoes, yeah, yeah, yeah and, so our, and our feet have evolved to, to look different than they were. Society is a metaphorical shoe mm. keeping our toes curled in together. Smartest guy in the pod, that. David Wiggins. Thank you. Have you ever done grounding? You do grounding sometimes? No, no, I know what you're talking about, though. Walking around on the grass with your bare feet? Yes. It's called grounding? Yeah. It's called grounding. It's getting connected to the and earth. Oh. Yeah, not even ground feet. People do that, like, on the asphalt or whatever. Yeah. And it Psychos. actually made, like, grounding shoes. Do you guys all want to ground Wait. right now? Mm-hmm. How, how, do you, how can you make grounding shoes? Is not the... Like, him, uh, like... Like, they're thinner, yeah, probably. Yeah, they're thinner soles. Uh, and, and I saw this... Somebody on the internet took their soles out of their... Oh, out, out of their th- shoes? Yeah, out of their shoes. Oh, no way. Because a lot of establishment won't allow you in there right. without it. And there's some, like, hippie people. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Redheads can't do this, though. Yeah, no they, don't, they don't have soles. Mm. Mm. People say... Thank you. People Thank don't, you. People don't talk about that enough. enough. <laughs> Redheads. <laughs> but... You gotta be careful with some redheads. Oh yeah. Yeah. To, what? Oh, what do oh, you yeah. Did you say you like redheads? I think I remember that on an episode. <laughs> I said I like everybody. On <laughs> but specifically redheads. No, I have redheads. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 
We love redheads. Redheads, red brown, brown heads. If you're a redhead, call in. Blonde heads. Speakpipe.com slash feeding off each other. Leave us a voicemail. Mm-hmm. We want to hear you. If you're red hair, any color though. Any color hair. Any any color color hair. Or no hair. No, you don't no. Yeah, it's true. You don't yeah. Fake hair. Yep. I love the hair. So uh, in your time on Kill Tony, you've brushed shoulders with probably a few famous people. We saw. We were just watching some clips. We saw you um, fanboy to uh, oh. Polly Shore, which is amazing. We're big Polly Shore fans as well. Um, <laughs> we? Yeah. Oh, Brooke, I was uh, sorry. Weasel. You guys don't like Polly Shore? He's fine. He's fine. Uh, There's nothing he's, wrong with Polly Shore. Yeah. He's great. He's great. Weez. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Any? Uh, I, I want the like behind the scenes because, like I said, I'm a big fan. I watch the show every Monday. When I saw Polly Shore came into the green room. I was like, I see them, man. Yeah. And that that night was a fun night. Um. Yeah, there's some awesome people. Uh, Ron White. Yeah. What there? Have you brushed shoulders with uh, Joe Rogan? Is he giving you yeah. a, a Rolex yet? Nope. No? What the hell? Where's the Rolex? He gave Hans Kim a Rolex. Where's yours? Not yet. No, not yet. Uh, You'll get yeah, that, I've met Joe Rogan a few times. Uh, I met. Um, Is he a tall man? No, he's short. No, I can make eye contact. I love with him, so it's perfect. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Freddy Gibbs with a fun episode. Oh, yeah. With Joe Rogan. Freddy Gibbs and Joe Rogan? Yeah. Freddie oh, my Gibbs God. And Joe Rogan. That's and, an audience. And Brian Moses. And, yeah. Um, who, was it? Uh, who else? Hans Kim. Uh, I don't know. Kim Conan is a good person. I still talk to her. Yep. Um. Yeah. Ian Edwards, Brian Holtzman. Brian Holtzman. He Brian seems Holtzman. Uh, insane. Yes. <laughs> well, comic comedic genius. Yeah. Hey, speaking of Brian Holtzman, where were you on the uh, arena shows? You get your invite for the New Year's I Eve. I had like. Yeah, golden ticket, right? You can show up yeah, whenever you want. I can, yeah, and I will. Is that legit? You can actually show up whenever you want? I can, and I will with other arenas. But I, just, I, it wasn't a good fit at that time. Madison Square Garden, are we going to see you at the, uh, New York, at the Big Apple? I'm going to show up at some future shows. Oh, man, I can't wait. Wow. Now, what, now, what's the process? You have the golden ticket, right? Which means you can you, you crushed it on your first yes. appearance. Yeah. And you can show up whenever. What's the process? Are you like DMing like Red Band or DMing uh, someone? Yeah, some people in a circle. Oh, like the producers and stuff. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I've been going through some mental health things, stuff like that. And I'm get out of now, but I'm just. Yeah, sometimes you can't do certain like don't. Yeah, take care of yourself before stuck, you go out and you know? people. I was stuck. Like, I was just hmm. not in um In a good mind space. In a good mind space. Yeah. And other things took priority. Yeah. And yeah. Well, that's good. Like I said, you got to take care of yourself, before, care you of yourself. And, yes. before you just go and, uh, you know, entertain people on stage. Especially yes. in that environment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just getting, yeah, I just. Yeah. Yeah. Where you're just yeah. getting roasted, but I mean, you're a great sport and you love that, right? You love like, uh, yeah, you love being on that stage. And I do. Yeah, I love this. I love comedy. I love this stage. I love the aspect of it. Yeah, and the thing also is what's amazing about it. A lot of people don't think it. That environment is so inclusive, right? Because they don't really care like, what you have. It's like you got to bring your A game. Gotta like bring jokes and be funny and make people laugh. It just yeah, it doesn't really matter who you are, what you look matter. like, just uh, as long anything. as you're funny, right? And also, like they'll roast the shit out of me. That's inclusive. <laughs> yeah, because mm-hmm. like they're not just they're not like. You know? Well, they're throwing a lot of, around a lot of R words, right? Yeah. And uh, I think, like, people in the audience, they get a little uncomfortable because they're like, should I laugh at this? I don't know. Is this funny? And then... But the R there, word is like, an interesting word. W- what is your relationship with the R word? 
f- fucked up, no. <laughs> um, Abusive. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I heard it all the time growing up. And, like, it's, it's a very taboo word. And also, it's a word that people who use all the time around me then look at my direction for like approval approval and <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate that that's fucking weird or they say something with like disability and they look at me or like yeah or uh, I've been yeah I've been like desensitized to that word I have a joke now I don't know if you I'm lighted down on Sunday night. But, like, the, the, that's the only word I know that people will get offended by. But they will go home and see either Justin Trudeau or Joe Biden on TV and they call them a retard. You know, mm. to, to, if I use it myself, it's. It's it's offensive. Yeah. And especially in this community don't like it. But the thing also is it's not really an offensive meaning. It means slow and delayed. The thing is people get offended of that word. However, every time you go to the airport <laughs> and you look up on the screen and your flights delayed. Retarded. Your flights are retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if I call myself a retard, like, oh, how dare you? Just means you're late for your flight. Just a couple syllables. In Montreal, yeah. Yeah, no, but it's, yeah, but that word is just, I had people use it right in front of me or after retarded that this is, is that. Um, and so yeah, the so, book you shouldn't really call someone retarded. You shouldn't really call someone anything, even stupid. It's like it's offensive to some people. Just like what is stupid, you know? Like some people That's actually pretty deep. Like, I want to be nice to you anything? guys now. What? I've been calling these guys stupid every day. <laughs> Your man is stupid. I know, you always call me smart, but then it throws me off. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you feel stupid. Yeah. That. That's true. I'm complimenting you a lot. Gaslighting uh, Dave. That's yeah. good insight. Well, Gaslighting? I, 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 when I watch the show, like Tony is always saying, he's laughing. I can say I can say whatever I want as long as he's you know, laughing. Man, Tony and I think, drops the greatest, <laughs> the most greatest insults I ever had. <laughs> yeah. Because like, People look at me and think that I have Down syndrome. Even when I tell them I don't have Down syndrome, they'll argue with me for 10 minutes. <laughs> telling me I have Down syndrome. Jesus but, Christ. No, it's... Yeah, that's insane. Or like, yeah. Shane Gillis Dude. gets the same thing though, right? He, have you heard his joke? Where he just got nicked by, by it? his cousin? No, he has a joke that he, he looks like he got nicked by Down syndrome. Like, he just dodged it. Yeah, I, just, I look like I have full head on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, it, it's... Now, wait, you don't have Down syndrome. I thought you do, because you have that song, uh, Chromo... Extra Chromosexual. Extra Chromosexual. Yeah, but that song, most people don't know the origin of the song. Oh, okay. You know the Victoria's Secret supermodel? Never heard of it, was that? The Victoria's <laughs> Secret <laughs> supermodel? Yeah. So, he or something? Mm, I don't know. Sophia, Sophia, the Victoria's Secret. I think she's from Spain. Sophia Spain. I think her name is the, and with the L. What? From J? Yes. That's her. her. So, like. Jero. That song pretty much came from me talking to my friend about oh, yes. oh, it. Oh, I see, I see. And how, like, the whole sexualization now of people with Down syndrome. Oh, yeah, okay. And the thing is, yes, people with Down syndrome are hot. Some of them. But, like, it's a sexualization of it. It's also crazy. Yeah, that's strange. Because people don't know if it's taboo. 
or is human nature to to be attracted to people of episode? Mm. And like, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I did that joke on Sunday night or not, my Victoria's Secret joke. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Actually, that's not familiar. We probably would have had a note on it. We put, we wrote a bunch of notes after on the way home because we had an hour drive home. We were writing notes for uh, material today. It's a beautiful drive home, eh, from Squamish? It is amazing. So uh, another moment on the show. You're with Eric Griffin, and uh, he spots that motherfucker is the only word that you say, yes. M-word that you can say with it where you don't stutter. Shh, the M-words, man. <laughs> the M-words are... Yeah, but the M-word will come out of... The M word is a is a letter sound that I can't say usually. Uh, Sometimes it just I can't say it. Yeah. So it's not like you can say motherfucker perfectly every single time. Oh, motherfucking. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but whoa, like people don't know about the word motherfucker. Who made the word famous movies? Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to know something fantastic about Samuel L. Jackson? I do. He's one of us. He's a stutterer. Oh. And him saying motherfucker helped him stop the stumble. Interesting. So that's why sometimes I must say it. I was saying motherfucker. And that's a transition. Yeah. So, Brooke, you have the clip, right? So, on Kill Tony, you're on stage with Eric Griffin, yes. and he points out that motherfucker is the word that you could say perfect every time, the M word. Yeah. And he suggests that you should recreate uh, Samuel L. Jackson movie scenes, but okay. replace it with you. Yeah. And we thought that we could do it in our studio here Let's after go. the podcast on I'm the down. green screen. I'm down. And we're going to get our friend Dan to VFX it. Let's go. And maybe Eric Griffin will watch it. But uh, you want to watch the clip here? Let's go. Yeah. I'll get the Him go. do like remakes of like Samuel Jackson scenes now. That yeah. would be fucking yeah. like Pulp Fiction. That would yeah. be fucking hilarious. Yeah. See? They're with me. <laughs> My the fuck is snakes on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said all the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you ever go home, like, and you're, like, you know, in the shower or something thinking, oh, fuck, I should have said that instead, and you have, like... All a, the time. <laughs> yeah. That's my whole life is just thinking I should have done... This. Like, my whole life is just... I wish my life was a Nazir Jones song. Rewind. Oh, you know yeah. that famous Nazir song? Awesome. We're, we're going to be thinking the same after the podcast. Oh, no. I ask that. Like, yeah. Like, I think it's just natural. Yeah. Or something. Oh, I should have said that, you know? Yeah. That's something more. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. So, so you're down to recreate these scenes with us today? Let's go. Uh, Dave, What you prepared some clips. I did. What are we going to re remake? Oh, my God. Where's you my... Forgot? Well, we'll get Pulp Fiction for sure. Oh, there yeah. We're are. doing Snakes on a Plane. Yes. We got Pulp Fiction. Let's see. We got Spider Man here. We got we got uh, Nick, yeah Nick Fury, the yeah, Avengers every Avengers. Marvel, yeah. We got Shaft. <laughs> you know me. It's my duty to please that booty. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, think yeah, that's about I'm it. I'm not gonna eat it though. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Diarrhea. There's like <laughs> I'm not gonna eat it though. Like a salad. Okay. No, I'm not. That's no. <laughs> well, that's gonna be fun. Yes. I can't wait. Let's do it. Shall we play a game, guys? Yeah, let's yeah. play a game. Let's go. Are you down for a game? I'm down for a game. All right, well, well uh, Music Man. Yeah. No, 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 Nardwar Intro Man. Yeah, play yeah. that Nardwar, Nardwar Intro Man. It's that time again, folks. Time to play This or That, the game where you choose between two radically different options. Either this or that. Are you ready? Sadly, no. Nardwar God, was, uh, that's just AI. Okay. <laughs> that would be awesome, though. If you know it, Nardwar, hit him up. Tell him to come on the Feeding the Off Each Other yet? program. All right, so we got some questions loaded here. You're gonna choose one or the other. Right. Let's go. Question one, Canada or America? America. Boo. Toronto or Austin? We're broken. Uh, uh, comedy, Austin. Okay. Chicken noodle soup or French onion soup? Oh, French onion soup. <laughs> <laughs> French onion soup. Surprise every fucking African. 
Cats or dogs? Uh, I love my cat. Pee a marble or shit a baseball? Pee a marble. You mean like a kidney stone? Uh, yeah, yeah. if it's a size I'd of a marble. I'd rather shit a... Shit a baseball? Yeah, I do that on every night. <laughs> <laughs> Manitoba or Toronto? I'm not like Toronto's like uh, Toronto's I like mm, Manitoba. Okay. <laughs> professional rapper or professional wrestler? Professional wrestler. Wow. Give, give the first ninety nine percent of a blowjob or the last one percent? <laughs> give or receive? Give. <laughs> Give both in both situations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you want give the first ninety-nine. Is it well, you want all the work or all I the come? I want to say this hot take. Mm -hmm. I was suck a tranny dick before I suck a um, nail dick. Mm -hmm. What's normal, right? I don't, I don't think that's that hot of a take. Yeah, but it's a <laughs> you know, hot. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm hot. You have like <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some more, more there. Blair White. Blair White. There's some hot, there's some hot tranny chicks. What are we? Are we in a game anymore? All Anybody right. else hard? Jesus. Tranny, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I don't know. Uh, okay, next question. <laughs> yeah. Indica or sativa? Sativa. Flintstones vitamins or Centrum chewables? I do have arthritis. Uh, arthritis. I took Centrum. Yeah. Oh, I um, thought you were gonna go Flintstones. Uh, no, I would do Flintstones. <laughs> Flintstones. Everybody got the Flintstones. Have a have a new time. <laughs> Kill Tony or kiss Tony? <laughs> Said to myself. Um, <laughs> I kill Tony. I'm, kill Tony with jokes, man. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Spaghetti for hair or ketchup for tears? It's a classic question. Like the, like the spaghetti on a paper plate? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Hair. The yeah, googly yeah. eyes? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, no googly eyes. Just spaghetti for hair or ketchup for tears. So every time you cry. Yeah, but that would hurt. Ugh. The acid, That's right? That's true. With tomatoes? No, take dude. that into account. Spaghetti for hair. Spaghetti nice. for hair. Unlimited sure. food. Trump or Trudeau? Quick transition. <laughs> 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 what do you think? It's not mine. I'm playing. Going what do you think I would choose? How's he going? Trump every time. I would say Trump Doe. Trump. <laughs> uh, Trump. 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 Can I just say something about Trump? No, I can't say. Or Cut I'll that. say something after. Okay. Yeah, we'll go back. We'll circle back yeah. on that. Uh, Trudeau or Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> Mind and Hitler. Uh, none, none, uh, I think Trudeau's the safest. Probably. Yeah, big, true, big Trudeau fan. Some people here. say Trudeau is Hitler, so. Some people do say that. But. I'd say that's a bit extreme. Or a Cas. Cas. Uh, Castro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. There's no safe answer. There's no safe answer. <laughs> there's no safe answer. Okay, this one has a safe answer. Joint or bong? Joint and share by. No. Bong very by inclusive. myself. That's very nice of you. Eat a whole jar of mayo in one sitting or a whole bottle of hot sauce. Now, are you sharing or? <laughs> Is it like Miracle Whip or like Hellman's? Oh, Hellman's. Hellman's. Dealer's choice. I'll do hot sauce. Yeah, okay. Well, that's wow. going to be one night. Actually, Hell of a night. Maybe it's, I don't know. Now, wait. If it was Miracle Whip, would you have changed your mind? I like Miracle Whip. Okay. Oh, wow. So you I'm Miracle Whip person. Like, maybe like... I don't know. The question should have been Miracle Whip or Hellman's. That's a good one. Miracle Next Whip. Time. Wipe front to back or back to front? Or bonus, not at all. It depends. If the shower is close to me, then not at all. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Would you rather be... Front, back, depends. <laughs> I mean, it, it depends how much room you have in this stall, you know? True. Mm -hmm. It's true. Logistics come into play. Very thoughtful. Would you rather be four feet tall or eight feet tall? Uh, 
אבל מי פתאום? ריטלין או אדרול? אני לקח ריטלין, ואני לקח אדרול, אני מפחד... ריטלין? אני מאוד צחוק. אני מנסה ספיד! פיינלי, דיק סייז ניפלס או ניפל סייז דיק? That's a pointed uh, question. <laughs> It could be pointy. <laughs> I mean, small dick and huge nipples. Is that what you're saying? Basically. Basically. Nipple sized dick. I'd rather have a huge dick and small nipples. Yeah, of course. No, it's- so yeah, you're not that what Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you're gonna have uh, dick sized nipples. Like, yeah, but... If you got dick sized nipples, it'd be coming out of your shirt. Well, yeah. if you're Drake, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have... Uh, yeah. Yeah, but dick sized nipples with a small dick or... No, regular dick. Big dick and small nipples. <laughs> I'm trying to... Now Maybe I'm a regular dick. This is the best game where they said that. Like, it's, it's a crazy... That's a crazy question. It's, it's a crazy, crazy question. question. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. What is it? It's like... You... You would have a regular How deck and even huge like, nipples. Yeah, well, like a dick sized nipple is a nipple that have a tentacle, right? No, no, just the, no, no, just no. the size. <laughs> Or the size. Yeah, the yeah, size. Yeah, just yeah. the size. They just protrude. Six to eight inches. All right, we might have to do a part two, guys. Let's just, let's just. I'd rather have a big dick and normal nipples. Big dick and normal nipples. All right, okay. All right, Jared, that, that's game, everybody. Well done, Jared Nathan. Wow, that was. That Trudeau Trump game. question, I just find Trudeau can do anything and have no repercussions, and Trump can do n- like s- n- nothing, get all the p- 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 backlash. He can have dick-sized nipples. Yeah, and, and small would. hands or whatever. Oh, yeah, small hands. Or, but like, Trudeau just... And Hitler Trudeau, the... Interesting question. That is an interesting question as well, Dave. Yeah, you come up with that one. Trudeau is like a social. Trudeau is like bringing social socialism is existing in Canada because of Trudeau or his administration, not just him. Because we all know that Trudeau is not really making the rules; he's just f- following to the voices in his ears. You know, that's what prime ministers and presidents. Yeah. There's other people who control the things that did. Speaking of Trudeau, uh, Jared asked if he was going to be putting blackface for the our, our recording of uh, Samuel L. Jackson. He said no blackface. <laughs> so I had to confirm that we're not oh, doing blackface. What? Yeah, sorry. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, guys, come on. Reconsider. <laughs> Put away the makeup. Jer- but Jerry, you remember when Trudeau did the blackface, right? I did wasn't he- there for the exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> you took I the picture, right? I was at the <laughs> Halloween party where he dressed up with Abby... Baller or something? He was Aladdin, I believe. Yeah. Aladdin? Yeah. Oh. Is that blackface then? Yeah, it's brown face at least. Whole new world. <laughs> There I, he is. Well, this I, isn't, this I, isn't helping the photos. Yeah, like, I know, I do find the photo <laughs> isn't doing him any favors. No, it's just not. creepy, just creepy eyes, man. That's a And he's like hard. holding that girl by the neck, too. Yeah. He looked more like Shafar than anything else. He might be. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> The bu- 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 thing? Yeah, but that's not the first time he did Maybe not. He's black face, right? He did brown face a couple of times and other things. Man, when was that photo taken? It looks like the 1930s. Like other situations, <laughs> but also, like, <laughs> my favorite situation, the black face thing with, like, Robert Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When he said the actors told him to, like, But Jamie Foxx didn't care, you know? So, so, so like, is it like art or is it, well, is it imitation? He's definitely And done interviews. Is it yeah. imitation the biggest form of flattery? Mm, no. Or are people ashamed of... I don't know. I think that a lot one, of thoughts, but... I think that one kind of gets a, a free pass because it's it's a meta joke. In the movie, he's playing a guy doing right. blackface. He's not doing... Right? Like and probably everybody who has a problem with it isn't really con- getting the full context of the movie. Yeah. Right. Kind of reacting to. 
but you know, they've decided as society, we're just not doing it anymore. And we all just went, Oh, okay, that's fine. If you guys, if, if enough people are kind of offended, you just kind of let it go. Yeah, okay, Boomer. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this is our most inclusive podcast yet, and this was the one that's going to get us canceled. Yeah. Is this it? Is it, guys? 81 episodes. It we was had a good, good run. Good Man, run. we're so close to 100. Apparently, Jared, you need to do 100 podcasts yeah, to get good at it. So thank you for being on the bad episodes, Jared. It means you a lot. Like, what I am upset about is it okay for actors to act with, like, special needs? Is it okay for, like, um, mm, sharp pen... I'd say to play Down syndrome. I don't think oh, they would let him do it anymore. For, I don't think they'd let him do it anymore. Right or Dustin Hoffman, Rain Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, is it acting or is it like, or Tom Hanks was uh, mm, Forrest, was Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump, yeah, or Jamie Fox was uh, Radio. That was actually Cuba Gooding Jr. I'm not Cuba. No, Jamie Foxx has another one. The soloist, I soloist. believe. Soloist. I called. confused you, but Gooding. Yeah, no, but thank you for yeah, you calling know, me out of there. No worries. <laughs> Anytime. But yeah, the soloist, right? He plays somebody with the mental health issues, which is a form of that's what it is. Yeah, I, I. What do you? So be, what do you think? What do you? Where do you fall on the? I think it's appropriation. Yeah, it's fair. Mm-hmm. Also, there's so many actors now with disabilities. But there's also so many actors that have disabilities who hide it, right? Like Tom Cruise started. Mm-hmm. He never started in any movie. Olivia Blunt started. Never, she never started in any movie. Mm-hmm. And um, The King's Speech. Mm-hmm. I think it was a good, like... Reputation, like that story had to come out, but it could have been played with the actor who actually had a stutter. You know, it would have taken longer to come out then, though. (laughs) 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 Okay, I'm plugging. Should we wrap it up? Yeah, (laughs) Jared, when are we gonna see you? Just give me the finger. Jared, when are we going to see you uh, grace the stage once again? We, we love to see you every time. I am far, far the opposite of one of those people that turns it off. When you come on stage, I've seen those comments. You will see, uh, I, I love you it. Will I know see it's going to be good. Soon? Yeah? Yes. That's great. Where are we going to see you? What's, the, what's next? You will see me. Any more tours coming up? Or I had this before. Are you going to see me? And one of the largest shows coming up. Oh. Ooh. And I might go to Austin soon. I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like he's keeping some secrets. I just got to, uh, yeah. But uh, it's the hardest part is coming up with jokes, you know? Like yeah. jokes that are like hit, that are suitable for, that are like, you know, I will blow people away. Like, everybody asks me when I want to come down, I'll come down. For sure. When I'm ready to come down. I mean, you, poor guy just finished a tour one day ago, and we're already asking, what's next? Yeah, no, I have <laughs> some opportunities coming up, some acting opportunities I'm going to do. Nice. Oh, awesome. I'm going to L.A. in a couple weeks for some acting opportunities, opportunity, and I'm always doing comedy. Amazing. Well, well, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, we're not stand-up comics. We mm-hmm. dabble in comedy, and so if you if we can ever, you know, help uh, edit some jokes or take some whatever, read some stuff, whatever, we're here to help. We're uh, amazing. We'll be there. We'll awesome. be there. We'll be watching. I'll be forcing these guys we'll to be uh, there. the next show in Vancouver nice. on Hastings. Maybe don't do it on Hastings this yeah, time. Actually, maybe. Hastings. Yeah. Well, a little more south. South. Just make sure I don't oh, have yeah. pl- make sure I don't have plans for bowling uh, next time. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Could you be a little more considerate of Dave's bowling plans? What's with you, Mars? <laughs> All right. Well, anything else to say to the people out yeah. there, Jared? They Thank love you. you. You know what? We actually had a request for you. We don't get a lot of requests for guests. I had a request. There was mm-hmm. someone 
consistently asking. And you listen to them. Thank you. They were consistently, yeah, they were consistently listen. asking for you to be on the show. Okay. And here you are. And, and also, when Brooke and I were watching Kill Tony and we saw you on stage with Eric Griffin and you, they were doing the whole Samuel L. Jackson thing, yeah. I thought, maybe that could be us. And that was like a year ago or something. And now we're here. Dreams come true. It can be you. Thanks for <laughs> making my dreams come true, Jared. I'm happy to make your wish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is my make your wish. Another one. <laughs> Another one? <laughs> Who did? Oh, man. <laughs> God did. <laughs> yes. You're a killer. You're hilarious. All right. Well, l- take us out, Jason. Well, Chothers, thanks again for listening to another episode of Feeding Off Each Other. Please remember to subscribe, leave us a review on Apple, drop a comment on YouTube, do all the nice things. Go follow Jared on all the social medias, go to his shows. JaredNathanComedy.com, Jared Nathan on Instagram. And hey, if you really feel like it, leave us a SpeakPipe at SpeakPipe.com slash Feeding Off Each Other. We'll answer your questions, queries, and uh, feel free to insult us too, because we like that. Jared, call in sometime, maybe, if you have a chance, you know, between your big Hollywood gigs and Kill Tonys and whatnot. Call in, SpeakPipe.com slash Feeding Off Each Other. Just roast us, make fun of us, whatever. Get some, make, get some air time. Speak yeah, SpeakPipe. You just go to the website, and you just hit a button, type in your name, and then just talk. That's it. It's, it's super easy. You don't need to awesome. sign up or anything. It's like a voicemail service. But we'll give you as much airtime as you want. We'll play every episode. Amazing. Yeah. And as always. Thank you for listening to Feeding Off Each Other. Please subscribe for more great podcasts.